with living in such concentrations in cities, we are alive only because of these vaccinations and these medicines and everything. Many of us would have died for small things in the past, small things. This is why we must understand, when I said the average life expectancy was twenty-eight years, simply because a whole lot of people died when they're young. Because of small infections, if a flu comes, they will die. Very, very small things, people died. Today, at least sixty percent of us here, today are sitting here alive because of modern medicine. You cannot deny that. And it's a cruel process, very cruel. It's cruel to the other creatures, it's cruel to this creature also, everything. Now the question is only, shall we keep it within what we think, there is no ideal, what we think is a practical limit or shall we just let it explode upon us? This is the question. My humble opinion would be, we must keep it within some kind of practical limits. If you don't keep this limit, what happens, what is the outcome of that? will not be necessarily very pleasant. And about cruelty to animals, we are anyway cruel, you understand? We are very cruel people, let's understand this. Because this is the very nature of life. If this has to survive, it has to take another's life. Now the question is only this, are you doing this consciously or wantonly? Consciously if you do it, you will do it only to the extent it's necessary. If you do it unconsciously, compulsively or wantonly, you will do it to the extent it is completely unnecessary. So with every aspect of our life, this is all it is. Can we stop eating? Whether you cut a plant or an animal or whatever, it is life, it suffers in some way. The question is just this, are we doing it to the extent that we need or are we doing it for pleasure? or we doing it just wantonly without unconsciously. This is all the question is, because we as human beings can stand out from other creatures only when we function consciously, otherwise we're just like them, many times worse than them.